Hey everyone, this is a review of the Pile portable washing machine that I bought the other day. And so I uh, tried it for the first time. I, um, I really like it. So here's my review and I hope you enjoy this too. So thank you so much. And um, let me know what you think. I just bought this um, like portable washer um, that I saw somebody talk about on YouTube and I just got it today. I am doing a test, really. You see the energy guide. Let's see how much it shows. Um, yeah. I have um, a pair of my son's jeans, um, his top, an undershirt, um, a pair of his socks and underwear, and one of his little apron things for his job. And so I was surprised that all of that fits in there because my son is a big guy. After that, I'm going to put it in the... So this is the washer part. And then I'm going to put it in the dryer part. And then I'm going to hang it up. This is really nice for an apartment size washer. I mean, so far, this is my first time using it. So I'm going to go ahead and use it and, um, you know, see what happens. I'm happy to find something that um, you don't have to worry about washing by hand. You know, after my hand surgery, I'm really thinking of how I can do stuff easier um, or whatever. Again, this is not the same as an apartment size washer. This is not an apartment size washer. This is a small portable washer. There is a difference. Now, um, I'm not sure when I go to try to drain the water out. Um, if I'm going to have to put it up on the counter or not, but um, I'll deal with that when it comes. Right now, I am impressed um, so far, and hopefully it um, continues on. You never know when you need something like this. Alrighty then, I'll come back a little later. Also, oh, just to let you know, um, I started, this is 15 minutes. It'll be a total of 15 minutes with the uh, washer. I'm going to drain it, and I'm only going to do it once because it's not like, the clothes was really soiled so yeah and with those being dark clothes they bleed anyway so it's not like that rain the, the clothes and I still have them in there um, I mean when it, when I was trying to drain the water out that the water wouldn't drain properly and it a um, bunch of water ended up on the floor so I had to clean that up so now I've got the clothes in the dryer part and um, it makes a lot more noise on the dryer side than the uh, washer side. And I'm taking them out now. This is my first time using this. And I also learned about using liquid fabric softener that I should put the uh, fabric softener in the during this rinse cycle and not in the wash. I think there's some fabric softener, but I'll shake it out. But. Hey everyone, this is Sister Crystal here, and uh, I'm back with an update on this machine that I got yesterday. Now, if you can hear, um, it's very, very quiet. That's what I really like about this machine. So I just want to tell you a quick update on um, some additional pros and cons. I am going to say, um, yesterday... Um, I said I'll give it a 7. I'll still give it a 7. Okay. Oh, and it's another thing, too. It's about to cut off some. Um, I have a small load in here. I don't have much. But um, it doesn't shut off when you open the, um, the lid. But um, what I learned is... Um, I don't know. Can you see? Is it focused? Okay. This water inlet, I took the little tube off. It takes forever. It takes absolutely forever to fill up. So now I'm just filling it up with a pitcher, a water pitcher, and I'll just pour it in directly into the tub right there. I'm not going through this. It takes forever. It's like drip, drip, drip. So I'm not doing that. Also, and I'm going to insert a picture here. Um, with the fabric softener, um, I'm so used to everything being automatic. So I forgot when you put the liquid fabric softener in, you should put it in during the rinse cycle. So this rinse cycle for this thing is when I drain the water and then I put the uh, more water in and then run the washer again. 
So that's the rinse cycle. But did you know that fabric softener, liquid fabric softener actually expires? Oh, okay, it's at the end. But yeah, liquid fabric softener actually expires. I did not know that. And I have a um, fabric softener that I'm um, using, and I'll put the picture here. I looked at the date. It said 2014. So that fabric softener expired uh, six years ago. No wonder it was clumpy. Anyway, that's the end of that. Um, I like how quiet it is on the wash side, but the dryer side is still really noisy. I also learned that I have to sit it up on the counter in order for it to drain properly. So, uh, how pure clean um, portable washer. I still think it's great for small items that you don't want to have to go to the laundromat just to wash, you know, pay five dollars just to wash a few items that you can do this here and you don't have to hand wash piece by piece so I really like this so okay so this is sister crystal again I am um, I'm gonna turn on the spin cycle now I mean not the spin yeah spin cycle where it's supposed to dry the, the items uh, I have a few items they're all um, they're light items they're all white um, I don't know why I needed to say the color but it's just a, it was a delicate cycle that I kind of put it on but I'm gonna turn it on and uh, I hope it's not as noisy as it was the other day so I'm about to turn it on here we go And I'm actually holding on to this because I feel like it wants to move around on my kitchen counter. Dang, I hate this. Uh, I wish it was more quiet. Okay, I actually got my belly pushed against it. And see, I'm on the top floor of the um, apartment building and uh, what time is it? It's 6.14 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Sunday, February 23rd, 2020 So that's the sound of it uh, I'm not going to do the whole dry um, cycle, but you hear the difference. It's much, a lot noisier than the wash cycle, which, you know, if, if, if one of them have to be noisy, I'd rather it be the dry cycle because it's a lot shorter than for, the, for it to be the wash cycle that would be uh, this noisy. But um, I still give it a 7 out of a 10, you know. I was tempted to take one point out off for the noise, but oh well. I hope you guys can hear me over this too. Oh, it's cutting off. All right. Well, there you have it. And that's it. Okay, let me see. I'm a poor. Well, let me see. Um, I want people to see my mentionables. Let me let me touch it. Okay, it feels quite dry. Okay. Um, I like how dry it feels so uh, all right and again just a reminder the wattage if you're worried about that or you're concerned uh, according to this it says yearly energy costs three dollars and ninety cents um, thanks for watching just trying something different alrighty then